Thank you very much. Hey, everybody. Wow, it is, uh, wow, we've been off since November 20th. Great to be back. I've been on a, a bit of a news diet. Anything big happen? I, uh, I tell you, if the stuff that was happening in America right now was happening anywhere else in the world, we'd invade that country. Uh, Biden, did you see him today? He announced <laughs> his inauguration theme, America United. And all I could think is, boy, you have spent a lot of time in the basement. Uh, there's... <laughs> there's... There's 20,000 armed troops <laughs> on heightened alert in Washington right now, and Joe will be giving his inauguration speech in front of uh, basically nobody. Uh, welcome to my world, Joe. <laughs> No, these, I just want to, <laughs> I just want to say, you hear some people here. These are, we are not allowed to have an audience anymore. I'm not complaining about that. We are, we are very appreciative of the authorities uh, on, on all levels who have let us be here in our studio. We get it. There's a crisis out here in California and in the country. So these are just the normal ass-kissers. <laughs> I hope they're ass-kissers. <laughs> who hang around the studio. Uh, who are allowed here. <laughs> Because <laughs> if they're not, I really have no chance. But, but uh, Joe outlined his plan today uh, for the future. He wants to give every American a check for $1,400, best grandpa ever. Uh, <laughs> but let's see what, but let's, let's review what's happened while we were off. Uh, oh, yeah, there was an insurrection at the Capitol. <laughs> Uh, a bunch of Fox News freaks and QAnon nuts from deep red districts bashed and rammed and broke their way into the Capitol instead of getting there the usual way by being elected. <laughs> uh, I mean, you, you all saw the video, right? They stormed in and they chased retreating police up the stairs, ransacked the building. This is something I never thought I would see in America. Trump supporters taking the stairs? <laughs> Even the people who wrote it aren't laughing that much. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's where I am, people. Help me. Help me at home. But it was sad, right, to see this in America. People were hiding under their desks in the Capitol looking for hidey holes. Uh, I mean, so in the Senate, someone tried to get into a closet, and, and, and Lindsey Graham said, get out of here. This is my spot. <laughs> it's, uh, I kid Lindsey Graham. I don't even know what that means. But uh, <laughs> Democrats are now saying that they witnessed the day before, listen to this, the day before the attack, they witnessed Republican lawmakers giving some of the rioters who came back the next day tours of the Capitol. This is the day before the attack. That, giving tours to the people who are coming to ransack the next day. This is the Senate chamber where we will be hanging Mike Pence and we're walking and we're walking. <laughs> Okay, so that happened, and then <laughs> let's see what else happened. Oh, yeah, Trump got impeached again. There's not a rerun. Trump got impeached again for egging on the mob, and uh, this time 10 Republicans. Isn't this interesting? 10 Republicans voted for impeachment. All it took was for them to get personally attacked by a violent mob waving Trump flags. The other 95% of Republicans, still okay with that. <laughs> More of a think joke, I guess. Uh, <laughs> rough crowd. On my payroll, still a rough crowd. <laughs> That's what I'm dealing with. Okay. But, <laughs> but listen, it's 147 Republican lawmakers, this is the senators and congressmen, are still standing by the lie that the election was fraudulent after the attack took place. After the attack, and because of the attack now, Congress put in more metal detectors, which Republicans are refusing to use, or sometimes just rushing right through, because that could violate their freedom to overtake a legally elected government by armed rebellion. And who wants to live in a country like that? <laughs> so this is historic. This, this is historic for a president to be impeached for a second time. For a second time, Trump has been asked to leave office. Three, if you count the election. <laughs> two, two impeachments? He's like, he's like the vaccine. You need, you need two doses and <laughs> still no guarantees. 
But uh, he's having a rough time in his last five days in office, Trump. He was, uh, uh, Twitter threw him off. He's been banned on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. The PGA, <laughs> golfing, the love of his life, canceled his big tournament in New Jersey. Uh, Deutsche Bank no longer be giving loans to the Trump family. Everyone's turning their back on this guy. His bank in Florida dumped him. Uh, uh, the, the, in New York, the, 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 he lost his contract for the ice skating rink. And Ivanka just wants to be friends. It's sad. <laughs> the head of the Mushroom Trade Association asked today that mushrooms no longer be compared to his dick. This is very, <laughs> very sad for any man. But amid all of this, of course, the Biden inauguration is going to happen, and we are going to have a new president. And uh, he's being welcomed in with open arms. I don't know if you know Marjorie Taylor Greene. She's one of the new Republican Congress people there, a QAnon person. She has drafted articles of impeachment against Biden. I'm not kidding. She, said, she says she's going to file on January 21st, his second day in office. Well, she wants to give him a chance. <laughs>